Hello and welcome to Tech. I am Mohammad Adnan, and in this video, we are going to discuss about scatter chart visual in Power BI. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, please click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. Scatter chart visual in Power BI is such a beautiful visual you can analyze two kind of data at the same time. Not only two, actually it's three. Uh, like if you want to compare the sales to the profit and as well as the quantity. Now let's go one by one. I've created a blank page with a scattered chart and the slicers uh, on the right side. So if you go to visualization tab, you'll see this global kind of icons. This is scattered chart. Click on that. You go to this field menu. There are plenty of options out there details, legend, x axis, y axis, size, play axis, and then 12. Okay, now I have this table, the orders table, in that I want to drag and drop the category into detail, the legend, and the region. x axis is total profit, y axis is for total sales. If you look at this um, chart, you will see just all dots kind of icons available here. So these are the sales versus profit by region for each category. Then uh, if you want to um, add the quantity on the size, so you will increase the size. This what it means is, um, this is the total profit subject to the total sales and there quantity what we have sold there these are you can able to add uh, let us to this one now let's go back to this one the finished one yeah i will tell you one by one so i have added the category as before i have added the details in the category and the region in the legend x axis profit y axis in sales and size in the quantity um if you move your cursor to any of those data points it says that this is a technology category and the region is central and profit is 8747 and the sale is 43k and then the quantity we have sold is 440 by the year is 2017 okay the green colors are central region so that if you go to this technology and this is 2017 east technology let's have a look at this one this is south technology and this one for the year 2017 as we highlighted here Okay, if you click on 2015, it reduces this one technology 2015 is from the quantity we are sold. So we can analyze not only in one single area, we can analyze in multiple at the same time. Now let's go one by one. So I want to filter in 2014. So it just given data of 2014 for all the category that is furniture, office supplies and technology in the region of central is south and west so this is the central and the yellow is west black is east and then the red is south now if you look at this example what we understand is in this central region we have sold thousand quantities of office supplies and the sales is increased here and also the profit if you look at this one, this is a major profit area for us, and also the, the sales also increase. In the West region, we increase the sales by 52k, and then quantity is 1400 in 2014. Now I want to compare only in the West region. Okay, you can do that. Furniture, technology, and office supply. If you look at this, on 2014, office supplies sales is increased in this area. Whereas if you compare to South, I just want to filter again only the office supplies. Whereas in South, it is very much less in sales and profit. In East, much better. In Central, mm, very low. Because if you look at this, the sales is increased here in central region, whereas the profit is only 622. 
in south region we have sales 25 and we made a profit of 5k so on seeing this carrot visual what we understand is in 2014 the office suppliers we made a profit on west region and in central region we made a very low profit on them now let's move to the same one 2015 if you look at this one in 2015 we made a much profit on east region whereas in 2014 we made a profit on west region and central is still it is low in 2016 central is much better south is low and east and west is making the profit in 2017 again the central is very low and south west is much much better so select in all the four years on an average we made a much profit on the west of 22,000 profit out of 82,000 sales whereas second is the east region and then the south and the last one is the west even though we are sold much quantity on the central region but we made a profit of only 85 whereas in south region we sold about less quantity and less sales but we made a profit of 5k not only we can compare these things we can also compare the region as well this is all the categories if you look at this one in central region we made much profit on technology even though we have sold much of the quantity on office supplies but we made very less profit whereas in technology we sold less quantities and we made a profit much if you want to look at the details just right click on this one and then drill through details i have made a video about the drill through features in power bi if you haven't seen that just click on the link given on top of your screen now coming back to this one okay for central the technology is a much better area and if you look at the east one still the technology is made a high profit and in the south this is different in the south we made a much profit on the offer supplies in compared to technology even though the sales is high but we made a less profit uh, whereas in office supplies the sales amount is less and profit is higher in compared to west here also we made a much profit on office supplies when compared to technology even though technology is much higher in sales but we made a less profit when compared to office supplies so let's have a look at all the reasons about uh, the furniture for furniture we made a much profit on the west for office supplies still west for technology still west so if you look at this one on overall still the technology part in central region is very much less and whereas in uh, western south it is much high in south it's very much less in technology yeah in 2017 not in 2017 it's actually in all the year this is really cool right not only that you can even compare with the state say for example i want to select the state of uh, washington in washington the technology is much higher in this one if you select the texas Texas technology is the highest one. I want to select it for both technology and I mean Texas and Washington. If you want to compare the two states, the Texas and Washington, it is in the two different regions, one is the central and one is the west, then in the west it is much higher than that. Now here it has one more option in the cadet chart. It is play axis. Its play axis is you can play, you can just have a look at a video small video on inside itself i have drag and drop the calcy year that is the year 2014 15 16 17 how is the performance on that but if you drag and drop this year here it will add in this area below here you just need to click on this play button it will show you the details 2014 this is the area 2015 16 and 17 it will go like this 14 these are the sales and how we have progressed each year by year not only that uh, we can compare it with month as well say for example during the december the christmas um, office and furniture might be increased and technology might be decreased on that area let's have a look at those on all the years so i'm just dragging the calcium month in the play axis instead of year. so 
So let's have a look at each and every month. Okay, so it's January, nothing else, and February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. So let's have a look at the December. So it is still in December, right? So if you look at this one, in December, we made a much profit on technology and office supplies. I thought we made it on furniture, but actually it is not. We have, even though we have made a huge sale on the West Aid, but the profit is less when compared to technology and furniture. Okay, let's have a look at the mid of the year. That is on June, everything is less. In January, still less. Technology has a much better sale in this period. So you can even compare it with this one. Not only that, um, the only the numeric function, you can also use this one. Say for example, I want to take it by subcategory. So I'm just dragging down the subcategory and the play axis. So I have lots of subcategories here like accessories, appliance, art, binders, bookcase, chairs, copier, envelope and much more. So let's have a look each and every category with subcategory made a much profit and much sales on that. I'm just playing this one. You can just click on one by one as well. Appliance, bookcase, labels, paper. You can even play it. Accessories, appliance, art, binder, bookcase, chairs, copier. So it's going by each and every category by category. I think if it is for profit, we made a much better profit on the phones, I guess. But it's all in technology. Yeah, you're right. If it is in storage, it is office supplies. If it is table, it is furniture. So we can analyze in almost all the segments in this character. We just need to understand how it actually functions on that. I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something new on it. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel, if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any comments and feedback, post it on the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.